Australia's Foreign Minister Maurice Payne has called for an investigation into China's management of COVID-19, where the virus was first reported. During a daily briefing in Beijing on Monday, a Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson said they found Australia's questioning to be groundless. U.S. President Donald Trump has also criticized China on its handling of the novel coronavirus. There are now 2.4 million cases of COVID-19 worldwide and more than 160,000 deaths. On Monday, during a video conference with Russian officials, Russia's President Vladimir Putin said that Russia has managed to curb the COVID-19 crisis, but the peak of the virus is still ahead. Пик заболеваемости еще впереди, и теперь нам нужно сделать все, чтобы сгладить этот пик, сократить срок прохождения через так называемое плато, когда фиксируется наибольшее число новых заражений. Russia has over 47,000 confirmed cases of the coronavirus and more than 400 deaths. A hundred and thirty-eight asylum seekers at a hostel in central Lisbon have tested positive for COVID-19. On Sunday, the hostel was evacuated after the first case was discovered. Everyone was tested, and those who tested negative were taken back to the hostel after it was disinfected. Estamos a falar de pessoas refugiadas e esta intervenção faz em duas dimensões objetivas. Uma e primeira que importa salientar que é a saúde destas pessoas e, portanto, independentemente da sua origem e condição, estamos a tratar de pessoas e, portanto, é necessário salvaguardar essas pessoas. Ao mesmo tempo, também estamos a trabalhar noutra dimensão de segurança para toda esta comunidade que aqui reside e que vem aqui e que aqui trabalha para que haja estabilidade e segurança na cidade de Lisboa. The Portuguese Council of Refugees is responsible for accommodating asylum seekers until their applications are processed. South Koreans have started returning to work after the country eased some of its social distancing rules after seeing a downward trend of COVID-19 cases. However, many companies are still continuing to apply flexible working hours and limiting travel and face-to-face -face meetings. South Korea also extended its general social distancing policy for another 16 days, but eased some of its restrictions for religious and sports facilities. When Pushkin Gallery, an art gallery in southern Russia, decided to close its doors to slow the spread of COVID-19, an artist asked if he could self-isolate in the gallery. I Возьмут в Пушкинскую галерею работать. Ну вот взяли в Пушкинскую галерею работать администратором. Вот и как раз вот в этот период сразу получилось так, что пандемия, карантин. Вот и идея, в общем-то, здесь и возникла такая, что надо сохранять, то есть охранять. Предметы искусства, здесь картин много, да и в общем памятник архитектуры Пушкинская галерея. He has been keeping busy by painting, sleeping, cooking and exercising in the gallery. But he's not completely alone. He's being accompanied by a canary named Hertz. Pronin has been self-isolating in the art gallery since March 28. Thanks for watching Global News. If you want to stay up to date on the latest breaking national and international news, be sure to subscribe to our channel.